Hi friends, welcome to the YouTube channel Manohar Babsani. In the last video, I had discussed about uh, methods of wrapper classes. But now, and in that, I had discussed about parse method. And I had discussed demonstrated examples how to input value from command prompt and parse it using parse method. And the second one is uh, how to just pass a string, numeric string and parse it. And now in this video, I'm going to discuss about how to work with this method xxx value. And this is actually, you know, when you talk about parsing method or I mean parse method, I'm sorry, because there are so many methods in each wrapper, there is one parse method. Similarly, in each wrapper, you have one what method xxx value. The purpose of parse method is to convert a string to required primitive. And now talking about this xxx value. This is used to convert a, a wrapper object. What object? A wrapper object to required, required primitive. Do you understand this, friends? It is used to convert a wrapper object to required primitive. Are you able to follow this? So wrapper means integer object to integer type. Double object to double type, float object to float type. Do you understand this? So that, that is what, and you can call this as unboxing because I taught you boxing and unboxing in my previous videos. So boxing is converting primitive to object. Unboxing is converting object to primitive. So this method performs unboxing job. Of course, you can do that by applying casting, but still there is another way of doing unboxing that is using this xxx value. Do you understand this, friends? Let us quickly just discuss about this. Friends, this is idea about this uh, parse xxx value method. I'm sorry, xxx value method. So what is this doing here? It is used to convert an object to the required primitive, as I had discussed. Generally, this process is what we call unboxing. I had discussed the, about this in my previous video, unboxing. If you don't have idea about what is unboxing, please go through that video. You get perfect idea. And we can do unboxing in two ways, generally. One by using this xxx value, two by using what is that the type casting. Already I taught you how to apply type casting in unboxing video. So now here I am going to discuss about what is that. I am going to discuss about how to perform unboxing. It is very simple process. But you know, I need to convert wrapper object to primitive. Then in how many ways we can create wrapper objects? We can create wrapper objects in two ways. One as an object, two as a literal. So what is that? We can create per we can create a object for wrappers wrappers in two ways. In how many ways, sir? One as an object, two as a literal. Two, what is that? Sir? As a literal. So when you talk about object, how do you create a wrapper object? You know very well. Everybody in this session know that. Okay, so what is that? Sir? Everybody here has idea about this. What is that? Term? Just, you know, creating object means you should apply new and constructor call. And suppose, let me show, take an example. So first one, to showcase how to create wrapper object. This is the example. Example one. And this is case one. Otherwise, you take it as what is that? Term? Case one. It's something like, you know, integer space. Don't think, why, why? Maybe you can ask me a question, sir, why are you taking always integer? Why don't you take float, double or long? See, it is same for anything, you know. We don't have any big difference. The way we do the things are same. And we can do anything for the same. We can do anything for other, other even other wrappers. So in the similar way, we can create object for float or double or long or boolean or whatever it may be. But while passing values, make sure you are passing appropriate values. That is important. For integer type, pass integer values. For decimal, pass decimals. For boolean, pass true or false. Not anything else. Do you understand this now? So this is the idea about this. Are you ready now? So coming back to this now, how to create object for integer? Or how to represent integer wrapper as an object? Integer space sum i1 equal to new integer of. What is that? Term? New integer of. What is that? Then you should pass some value here, an integer value. Still, this is a, an integer. And if you print i1, 
then this 10 is displayed now generally when you print reference you get address of object that is what we call hash code but it doesn't happen for string as well as wrapper classes this is an exception for string classes and which classes sir wrapper classes when you print reference of wrappers or string you get that value i'll talk more about this sir, when we when i discuss about methods of object class because this is there is an overridden method actually we override some method called to string to make changes to this to string is available in object class we'll talk about it when we go to which one methods of object classes but anyhow when you print reference of wrapper classes or string class you get the value but you don't get the address of object keep in mind maybe if you ask me a question why because to string method is overridden in these string or wrapper classes do you understand this no? string classes are wrapper classes that's why what happens now you get uh, what do you get here when you print reference you get the value but not the address so this is object creating a, a wrapper as object do you understand this now this is creating wrapper as object you understand this now understood now next one after this how do you create a, a wrapper as a literal it's something like this very simple case 2 it is a simple case simply like you know you can declare this like a primitive something like you know data type space some i2 equal to some 10 like this so this is like declaring like a literal constant you can declare an object of wrapper like this you can directly initialize whatever the value you want to this wrapper now if you print uh, either i1 or i2 you get same this 10 and 10 that's it maybe value can change don't think that i should initialize always 10 you can give whatever the value you want now i should convert this primitive this is i mean i should convert this wrapper i'm sorry i should convert this wrapper to required primitive that is int only integer we convert to int or into to integer i had discussed that what primitives are there what wrappers equivalent wrappers are there okay we convert into to integer byte to byte short to short long to long float to float double to double cap to character and a boolean to boolean so i should convert back this to what type primitive that is a integer int type what type for that i use which method xxx value you know in every wrapper class there is one xxx value suppose for byte for byte class i am talking about method class a wrapper class and its methods now i want to perform conversion let us just quickly get an idea what wrappers are there what equivalent xxx methods are there in each wrapper class there is one xxx value in byte we have what is that xxx byte i am sorry byte value what value byte value in byte class we have byte value in short what is that you have short value and in double you have what value double value okay i'll go according to the order in integer i have what is that int value okay in long we have long class we have long value are you following guys are you following or not in uh, in float you have float value do i need to write uh, all this do you think it's necessary similarly you have methods in each of the eight wrappers this time even char has character has a method of this so so friends when you look at this every wrapper has a, having is having equivalent uh, one uh, xxx value method that is byte byte value short short value int int value long long value float float everything so these are used to apply unboxing to convert a wrapper to its equivalent uh, primitive type do you understand this now so are you ready for a small example now just write a small example to convert an integer wrapper object to its equivalent uh, int type can you do this now you know this method returns uh, uh, some specific type suppose if you use int value it returns integer so return types are again uh, similar this is returning byte and this returns what is that uh, short in this way every method returns its own type this returns int this returns long this returns what is that uh, float this returns uh, double and this returns what is that uh, 
boolean and you know when when a method returns some value you should initialize it to required type the the variable left at left side must be the returning value type what type of returning value type okay boolean and finally here it should be char it returns char these are the return types do you understand this now so finally let us see a small program on this are you ready this now now just you do before i am going to do a program you just do one small program take one uh, wrapper object and convert it to the required primitive and just display the value that's all that's what you have to do right now do a simple application on this come on do it now friends hi friends let us see this program how to convert a wrapper object to equivalent primitive now take a simple example take an integer wrapper integer space some i1 equal to new integer then pass a value to this 10 now you know i need to convert this to the equivalent primitive in some x equal to i1 dot int value then automatically what this this is doing here it is converting this uh, wrapper you call reference is wrapper object whose reference is this it is integer reference and on that i am calling this method and this will convert this wrapper object to equivalent primitive now print that just print it system dot out dot printer and of uh, x now if you see this i am printing x here i am not printing uh, i1 then you get the same value but x is a primitive this is object you understand this now so finally I, you can remove one semicolon but if you can put multiple semicolons nothing happened don't worry about semicolons those other semicolons are empty statements what statements are empty in a program you can put as many semicolons as possible you can put that but here anyhow end it with one semicolon that's enough and finally you are converting this primitive i mean this wrapper to the equivalent integer using this uh, xxx value method that is int value method and finally you print x you get the output as what is that uh, 10 only but this 10 is a primitive but it's not object do you understand this now this is idea about i think you got clarity on this so this is idea about uh, xxx value method i hope it's clear now so let's thank you very much for watching this video please comment and please subscribe and share this with your friends clear right so thank you very much